Good morning, I'm Amy Lynn. December may trigger peak cold and flu season, but symptoms such as coughing and fatigue could be a sign of something else. These symptoms could also be due to a progressive and chronic condition called non-tuberculous microbacterial lung disease. To spotlight this serious and often overlooked condition are Dr. Julie Philly and Philip Leitman. Good morning to you both. Morning, Amy. Hello, Amy. Okay, I'm gonna start with you, doctor. What is NTM? Well, NTM stands for non-tuberculous mycobacteria. This is a type of lung infection that can occur um, in, in the lungs. It's a common bacteria found in our environment. I did just hear that Southwest Florida is one of the biggest areas for this disease. Amy, you're exactly right. Um, this is, a, this is a, a common problem, especially among many Floridians. Um, what we know is that this is increasing all over the United States at a rate of even greater than 8% per year of cases diagnosed. In Florida, one of seven of NTM patients diagnosed live in Florida, so we understand that this is more common than we had originally thought. So how are people being exposed to it? Well, we live among this, these bacteria. They are common in our environment, and fortunately, they do not make the majority of us sick. All right, so Philip, tell us about your wife's experience with NTM. Well, Fern was diagnosed uh, a couple of years after we moved to Florida. Um, she had recurrent cough, was treated with a single antibiotic, would get better, and it would come back. So um, after six years of going back and forth, uh, somebody said, let's check for NTM, and they found it, and that led us to finding expert care, uh, treatment with multiple antibiotics for an extended period of time, as well as ancillary treatments so that she could live another 18 years. Um, but we know that there are a lot of patients being diagnosed. There are a lot of patients, especially here in Southwest Florida, that probably have this symptom, so what would you say to them? What they should say to their doctor is, I've had a recurrent cough, you're treating me, uh, please do a test for NTM. Well, Dr. Philly, is there a certain age range or certain people that are more susceptible to this? Um, there are, actually. Um, this is very common in, in female patients, for one, uh, more common in the elderly. And then also there are certain risk factors that can occur um, th that predispose people to get this type of infection. Where can you send us for more info? One is aboutntm.com, ntminfo.org. Both great websites and a great source of information for patients and providers. Find out more by logging onto our website, fox4morningblend.com.